We're in Lancaster County, and behind us is the west branch of Octorero Creek. This is a stream that's occupied by kind of a special fish. It's, uh, it's called the Chesapeake log perch. It's endemic or located only in the Chesapeake drainage, uh, formerly in the Potomac and currently in a small portion of the Susquehanna. So it has a really small global distribution. We're here because this has one of the denser populations of Chesapeake log perch that we're aware of. These are called brails. Okay. Try and keep them upright. Oh, up, like. yep. We frequently come here to collect broodstock specimens or to do habitat surveys. This is a fish you could easily collect with a, uh, a minnow net, a minnow seine, but we're going to add a little bit of a twist to it. We're going to throw in a, a backpack electrofishing unit. So we'll essentially stun the fish and they'll float down into about an eight foot wide net. Log perch. Yeah. Whoa. They're everywhere. Well, that's a good thing, right? Yes. We're here to talk about a project that was recently funded by the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. It's an investigation of the life history and an effort to recover the species within Pennsylvania and the areas in which it doesn't occupy currently in the Susquehanna Basin. Currently, they are listed as threatened in Pennsylvania and Maryland. It's part of the ecosystem. It belongs here. I put on my mask and snorkel, and I snorkel up the riffle, and I have a wire attached to a numbered flag, and I put that wherever I see a fish. I put that where the nose of the fish was. I record the species of the fish, the number on the flag, whether it was facing upstream or downstream or to the left or the right, whether it was on the bottom, whether it was underneath the rock, whether it was on top of a rock. 28. Uh... Two by four. My crew is now going back to look at all these flags. We were assessing the habitat across the stream and what we do at each point is we take depth, flow, we also take a substrate measurement. We use that measurement to compare across streams. I think they prefer swifter moving current with larger substrate and with sections of sandy gravel. So one of the things we're doing is we're culturing these fish at our laboratory and also a laboratory in Tennessee. And we now have about 1,500 live fish and we're going to introduce them back into a previous known habitat. We're looking at Chickies Creek, which is, we're along the banks of Chickies Creek now. Chickies Creek is only a handful of miles, if that, from where Chesapeake log perch were originally discovered in Columbia, Pennsylvania. We are, we're right where we know they used to be and they're now gone from. And that, it's pretty exciting. Uh, they're neat fish, they deserve protection. Today what we're doing is we're restoring one component that's nat naturally evolved here, that naturally fits in. We're not 100% sure why they, they, um, they disappeared. However, we have a pretty good idea. The lower Susquehanna has had its share of water quality issues right in the river. And then the tributaries that drain the either side of the lower river, the agriculture, has probably played into the issue. Why, did, why would they survive now when they didn't in the past? We generally like to cite the, the improvements that followed the uh, actions of the Clean Water Act. Uh, many waterways started to clean up in the late 70s and the early 80s. And by the 90s, we started seeing things that hadn't been seen in many years. Even though, in some cases, these tributaries and, and the river have cleaned up, we have four major dams in the lower portion of the Susquehanna. Without some kind of intervention from man, these fish have no chance of getting up here. And all these fishes are tagged. Next spring, we can look at survival of the cultured fish versus the wild transported fish versus fish that were just tagged. The goal is to, once you understand something is in peril on some level, to take some kind of active management, the, the enhancing part of the Fish and Boat Commission's mission, to establish uh, populations in some of these streams and then let them take it from there.